Welcome to the Shes Your Map. Hi friends. Today we are going to discuss some of the problems based on the examination model. So for basics, properties, and some of the practice problems, you can refer my previous videos with the title "Laws of Logarithms." problems and loss of logarithms solving the equations the link is given in the description now we are going to discuss some of the problems based on the examination model under the heading logarithms first problem given that log to the base 3 x plus 1 is equal to 1 plus 2 log to the base 3 x minus 1 show that 3x square minus 7x plus 2 is equal to 0 b part the same question What is the b part? Hence or otherwise, solve the given equation. Okay, log x plus one is equal to one plus two log x minus one. So in this this question, if you solve, this carries five marks and this carries two marks. Altogether, this question's marks is seven. So here we are going to do the a part. So this is the give, given equation. We are going to show that three x square minus seven x plus two is equal to zero. So let us start the a part. Log. So what is the equation? Equation given. Log x plus one is equal to one plus two log x minus one, and the base here is three. So let's start solving. So this is the given equation, and now log three. X plus one. Keep this as such and bring this to the other side. So minus two. If it is plus here, if you take to the other side, it will be minus minus two log three x minus one is equal to one. And keep this as such. Here, what I'm doing is, if it is in the front of the log, what will you do? You can apply the power rule. So what is the power rule? Power rule is log x power k is equal to k log x. You can write the base like this, okay? Or else, if if it is of the form k log a x, we can write log to the base a x power k. Both are same. So in the question, in the problem, it is of the form k log a x. So we can write this as, which is in the front of the log will come to the power. So this term can be written as x minus one. So which is in the front of the log will come to the power as per the power rule. So it will be square is equal to one. The next step log three x plus one. See, so see here. Just let us remind the laws. Of logarithms, log x minus log y can be written as log x over y or x by y. Okay. As per the second law of logarithm, that is log x minus log y, we can write this as log x over y. So, if it is, I'm writing the base also here. Uh, What is in the x place? X plus one, and what is in the y place? X minus one, the whole square. So this can be written as by, or you can say it is over. That is x plus one over x minus one, the whole square is equal to one. Okay. So the same step I am writing once again: x plus one by x minus one. Square is equal to one. Now I am going to convert this logarithm to the exponential form. So how will you do that? As we have discussed in our uh, previous videos, suppose this is the log form, okay? General log form. So how will I convert this? Just keep this arrow in the mind. So what will you get? A power x is equal to 
a power x is equal to n. So, this is in the exponential form. You can refer my previous videos for the conversion of logarithmic to exponential and ex con conversion of exponential to logarithmic form. Okay. So, just keep this arrow in the mind. So, what do you have to do? As per this, a power x. So, here 3 power 1 is equal to x plus 1 by x minus 1 the whole square. So now 3 power 1 is say that nothing but 3 x plus 1 by x minus 1 the whole square. So now I can cross multiply this. I can cross multiply. So here it is understood that 3 by 1. So if I multiply this it will be 3x minus 1 the whole square is equal to x plus 1. Now, I am expanding this, I am expanding this using a minus b the whole square formula. What is a minus b the whole square formula? a square minus 2ab plus b square. So, here it is x square minus 2x plus 1 is equal to x plus 1. Here it is 1 square and that is nothing but 1. x square minus 2x plus 1 is equal to x plus 1. I am expanding this using a minus b the whole square formula. So, this is the expanded value. So, a is x here and b is 1 here. So, next what you have to do? Multiply this 3x square then minus 6x. Then 1 into 3 is 3 is equal to x plus 1. Now, 3x square minus 6x. This x you can take to the other side. Now what you have to do? This x you can take to the other side. Minus x plus 3 keep this as such. Then plus 1 you can take to the other side. And which is equal to 0. So 3x square you don't have uh, like terms. Now minus 6x minus uh, x. So it will be minus 1x. And therefore you can write it as minus 7x. 3 minus 1 is equal. 3 minus 1 is 2 which is equal to 0. So this is the thing you have to prove in your a part so this is the thing you have to prove what is your question 3x square minus 7x plus 2 is equal to 0 now you have got the answer 3x square minus 7x plus 2 is equal to 0 so see here you have got the answer 3x square minus 7x plus 2 is equal to 0 thus you have completed the a, a part now let us see the B question once again and then we will start solving the B part. So we have completed the A part. So what, do we have, what we have done, this is the equation and from this equation we have derived this 3x square by 7x plus 2 is equal to 0 by converting logarithm to exponential. So in B part what we have to do, hence or otherwise solve log 3x plus 1 is equal to 1 plus 2 log 3x minus 1. So, this is the same equation which is given in the a part. Now, we have to solve this. That is, you have to find the value of x. So, what we have to do is, from a part, we have used this equation and we have derived this. Then, in b, it is enough if we solve this. 3x square minus 7x plus 2 is equal to 0. Because in A part itself we have started this and from this logarithmic equation we have converted to exponential and we have formed the equation 3x square minus 7x plus 2 is equal to 0. So if we find the x value then that will be your answer. So let us start the B part. So for solving this Equation, it is enough if we solve 3x square minus 7x plus 2 is equal to 0. So, we have discussed these type of problems in other videos under the title Loss of Logarithm Solving the Equation. So, similar to that, this problem is also same 
This problem is also similar to those problems what we have done in the previous videos. But here the only difference is they have twisted the question. They have twisted the question by giving A part and B part. Okay. So let us start solving. So this is just a quadratic equation and you can factorize this using a calculator or you can uh, factorize by using this way also 3 2s are 6. So it will be 1 and 6. So here since it is minus 7 we can write this as minus 1 minus 6. So the factors the required factors are how can you factorize and write this 3x minus 1 and x minus 2 is equal to 0. You can factorize this using a calculator or you can and directly write the answer or else the factorization method or else the formula method anything you can use and factorize. So after factorization you can write the value x is equal to 1 by 3 or x is equal to 2. So here I am confirming the answer x is equal to 2. Just see why. If you apply x is equal to 1 by 3 in the equation, log, suppose if x is equal to 1 by 3 is the answer, suppose I am telling log 3 x 1 by 3 plus 1 is equal to 1 plus 2 log 3 1 by 3 minus 1. Here you will be getting a negative term. Here you will be getting log 3. So negative term it will be minus 3. So minus 2 by 3. So for negative values you won't be getting a log value. Log values will be only for positive values. So here you will get a negative value which will become undefined. That's why if you apply 1 by 3 the value you won't be getting the value. So you get you are not taking this x is equal to 1 by 3. So only x is equal to 2 you will get the answer. So x is equal to 2 is the required answer. But if you substitute x is equal to 2 in the place of x it will be 2 plus 1 1 plus 2 log 2 minus 1 2 minus 1 is 1 and 2 plus 1 is 3. So both positive value are getting. So therefore x is equal to 2 is the only answer for this problem. So you have solved and got the answer x is equal to 2. So here x is equal to 2. So once again I will tell you why we are not taking 1 by 3. According to the properties of logarithms logs are defined for only positive numbers. Okay. So if you apply 1 by 3 you will get a negative term. Negative log term. So which is undefined and therefore you are just taking x is equal to 2. So x is equal to 2 is the required answer. And this is one important question which you have to revise for your exams. If you have any doubts you can post it in the comment box. And thank Thanks you. Thanks for watching. Like and comment. Please to subscribe to our channel.